Now, some shapes have several lines of symmetry, and it can be kind of hard to count all of those lines of symmetry, especially if you don't have some pencil or paper to be able to construct these figures yourself. So let's look at the regular polygons. Remember that a regular polygon is, a, is any shape that has equal sides and equal angles. Any closed figure with the congruent sides and congruent angles. So on here in this example we have a regular pentagon, a regular hexagon, and a regular octagon. And let's see if there's a relationship between the number of sides and the number of lines of symmetry. So in a pentagon we have one, two, three, four, five sides. In a hexagon we have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. And in an octagon, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides, all the same length. Now, let's begin looking at the lines of symmetry. So in a pentagon, we could fold it right down the half. There's one line of symmetry. Now, because the sides and the angles are the same, you see how this goes from this vertex to the center of that line right there? We can do that to every vertex and to the opposite side through the middle. So it has one, two, three four, five lines of symmetry. For a hexagon, we can see that we can cut this hexagon or also do the same thing. We could go from vertex to vertex. We can go one, two, three. So there's three lines of symmetry. But what about if we just folded it right down the middle in between side to side? So that would be four, five, six lines of symmetry. So six sides, six lines of symmetry. Now, what do you think, how many do you think would be in a regular octagon? Well, if there's eight sides, let's see if there's eight lines of symmetry. One, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. So, in a regular polygon, if you want to know the number um, of lines of symmetry, you just need to know the number of sides.